Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about Terraform State File. So, in the previous videos we have gone through different concepts and commands but uh, we have also used this TF State File most of the times. But what is it exactly? That is something that we have missed, right? So, in this video we are going to talk about TF State File, okay, throughout this video. So stay tuned till the end so that you get a clear picture of what Terraform state file is. Okay? Terraform is a powerful infrastructure as a code tool that is used to define and manage your infrastructure using code. So basically Terraform state is a representation of your infrastructure. So before actually learning more about it, First, try to understand what is Terraform state. Okay, so before understanding what Terraform state is, let's try to understand when is this Terraform state file created. So, when the first important thing that I would like to run over here is Terraform init command. So with this command, it will initialize the working directory to work with Terraform and also it will install the provider plugins required. So let's wait for it. Okay, so it has initialized. Now after this, what I'll be doing is I'll be running Terraform plan command. With this, it will show us the prediction like what all things will be created before we actually, when we actually apply it, okay. So these are the things. Now, when I run terraform apply command, it will create a file that is terraform state file. Now it's creating the instance which I have defined over here. Okay. And it will also be creating terraform.tf state file. Okay. Now what is this terraform state? So let's wait for this to execute completely. Okay, now you can see that over here one resource has been added. So let's go to our AWS management console and over here you can see that an instance has been created. Now, this is the state. Okay, so this is the Terraform state file. So it is basically a JSON file. Okay where it stores all the information related to the resources that are managed by Terraform. It also keeps the track of relationship between resources, their attributes and any dependencies. So you can see them over here like the attributes of the resource that is an instance. It has also stored the AMI, then the ARN then associate public IP address, whether it exists or not, and availability zone. Then all the details are being mentioned in this particular file in the JSON format. So basically it is a source of truth for our Terraform. Okay. So now, now we understood what is a Terraform state file. Now let's try to understand why this terraform state is important well without it terraform wouldn't know what infrastructure it's supposed to manage it wouldn't know what resources exist what attributes they have or what dependencies they have on resources so terraform state is what enables you to make changes to your infrastructure in a safe and controlled manner now, I said so many things, 
hope it is clear so basically terraform state is like a reference for terraform like what all resources are actually created okay and what is the current state so basically terraform state what is does is whenever we run terraform apply command it compares your state file and the your configuration files and the actual state okay so if there are changes in the uh, configuration then what it does is it identifies them and accordingly it makes changes to your infrastructure so that is why terraform state is important it keeps the track of your resources of actually created resources okay now let's try to understand the terraform state file now terraform.tf state is created whenever we run terraform apply command it contains the list of resources right their attributes and their dependencies and one more important thing i would like to mention is please never ever try to edit this terraform.tf state file directly like don't change the values of these particular attributes okay why because it is not considered as a best practice and also it may create inconsistencies between the actual state and the state file so terraform commands must be used in order to make the changes to the terraform.tf state like in the previous video we considered terraform import command right with the help of which we imported that particular already existing resource onto our state file and we didn't mention the changes directly in the state file right so that is the thing that you need to make use of terraform commands only to make changes to your state file so now now you understood what is the terraform state file why is it important right now let's try to understand the management part so managing terraform state in itself is a tricky thing so we need to consider different aspects over here if we are considering the management of terraform state so in case multiple people are making changes to the same infrastructure in that case you can't store your terraform.tf state file in the local right so it must be stored somewhere where everyone around you can access it right so the terraform provides several backend options for storing and sharing the state including the local then s3 is there in aws again we have got console which will be learning in the later section of the series you can also use remote state locking now what is this so basically locking is simple like um for example let's try to consider you are working in a team okay now at the same time if multiple people are trying to make changes to your uh, terraform state file then it may result in a clash right so in order to avoid this clash the, there is a concept of terraform locking terraform state locking so with that thing what happens is at a time only one person can make changes to the terraform state file so that can also be done with the help of remote uh, backends okay and with the help of this remote state locking we can prevent multiple people from making changes to the same resources at the same time so in this way we can manage our terraform state file so hope you found this video helpful 
this was just a brief overview of what terraform state file is and how can we manage it and what are the different ways with the help of which we can actually use or implement our terraform configuration files in order to work with terraform state as well so hope you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel if you found the video helpful also don't forget to press that bell icon for the latest updates so thank you so much and have a nice day